I recess the meeting until the fall of the gavel. Uh, we're uh, going to take action uh, with the motion that's before us. We've got to make sure that we have a quorum. As a, as a point of personal privilege, I'm going to call on Senator Flake to speak. Uh, normally, we would start the vote right now, but as a point of personal privilege, I would call on Senator Flake. Oh, thank you. Um, I uh, have been speaking with a number of people on the other side. We've had conversations ongoing for a while uh, with regard to um, making sure that we do due diligence here. And I think it would be... Uh, proper to delay the floor vote uh, for up to but not more than one week uh, in order to let the FBI um, continue uh, to do an investigation limited in time and scope uh, to the current allegations that are there and uh, limited in time to no more than one week. And I, I will vote to advance the bill uh, to the floor with that understanding. And I, I've spoken to a few other members uh, um, who uh, on my side of the aisle that may be supportive as well. But that's my position. I, I think that, uh, that we, we ought to do what we can to make sure that, uh, that we do all due diligence with a nomination this important. And I want to say that this committee has acted properly and uh, the chairman has bent over backwards uh, to do investigations from this committee and to delay this vote in this committee for a week so that Judge, or that, uh, that Ms. Ford, Dr. Ford could be heard, and she was yesterday. Uh, so, so that's, with that agreement, uh, I will vote to advance the bill to the floor. Uh, Clerk will call the roll. Just, wait, just one second. Can, can Diane speak? The could we have a description? Yeah, when are we voting on that? Say we are voting on the motion to report the nomination to the floor. The clerk will call the roll. Uh, wait, that's not my understanding of what, Mr. Chairman. Let the senator explain it. Uh, he that, that is my under, my my understanding. And if the Democrats could speak to it, if Chris or or you, as we oh. talked about before, that the Democrats would accept and endorse. A, a one week uh, uh, FBI investigation limited in time and scope. Well, that is correct. Since, you're the deciding, yes. since you're the deciding vote here, we'll vote and then if there's any sort of discussion, we'll go do that after the vote. Call the roll. Mr. Hatch. Aye. Mr. Graham. Aye. Mr. Cornyn. Aye. Mr. Lee. Aye. Mr. Cruz. Aye. Mr. Hatch. Aye. Mr. Sanders. Aye. Mr. Flake. Aye. Mr. Flake. Aye. Mr. Tillis. Aye. This is Aye. On the nominee. Yeah. On the nominee, no. Mr. Lady. On the nominee, no. Mr. Durbin. No. Mr. Whitehouse. No. Mr. Kovacar. No. Mr. Coon. On the nominee, no. Mr. Blumenthal. No. Mr. Stanford. No. Mr. Corona. No. Mr. Hatch. No. Mr. Hatch. No. Mr. Hatch. No. Mr. Harris. No. Mr. Chairman. Aye. Mr. Chairman, the votes are 11 days, 10 days. The nominee will be reported to the Mr. floor. Mr. Chairman, may I be recognized? Yes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I just want to thank my friend and colleague, uh, Senator Flake, and thank you uh, for um, giving us the time today to have a conversation. Um, a number of my colleagues have asked um, for a one-week delay in order that there might be an FBI investigation of what allegations are currently um, before this committee. Um, I respect Senator Flake's view that in his 
opinion, it was best to respect your having given Dr. Ford the time to be heard yesterday and advance the nominee to the floor. Um, but it is my hope that we could work together on a bipartisan basis to diligently pursue an FBI investigation within the next week, not for the purpose of delay, but for the purpose of investigating further either allegations made by Dr. Ford or others with a goal towards demonstrating a bipartisan commitment to diligently investigating these allegations. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Senator Flake. Senator Feinstein. Thank you. Uh, I would support that motion. I think we do need this investigation. As a matter of fact, I sort of misunderstood, uh, Senator Flake, what you were doing. I thought it included a one-week investigation. So I would like to support the motion for that investigation. Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman. Uh, we'll take turns here. Senator. Uh, I love this committee, but we're not the majority leader. Senator Flake has made clear what it would take him to be comfortable on a final passage vote. But it doesn't matter what we say here. This will be up to Senator uh, Schumer and Senator McConnell. So It is completely up to them. Yeah, and I think Mr. Jeff Chairman. has made himself very clear. And uh, uh, Senator, let's I'm move. Senator Leahy. Senator Leahy. Well, <clears throat> Mr. Chairman, I want to make sure, because this is somewhat unprecedented. Uh, and I do agree with the senator from Arizona that we we should have this further investigation. So my understanding is that during the week that that is taking place, there will be no action on the floor of the United States Senate on uh, on this nomination. Is that correct? Um, that, that cannot. I cannot say that. And, and let me say again. I'm not making. I can't make that commitment for the the leadership. Uh, I can only say uh, that I would be only comfortable moving forward on the floor. I'll move it out of committee, but I will only be comfortable moving on the floor until the FBI has done more investigation than they have already. Um, it may not take them a week. Uh, I, I understand that some of these witnesses may not want to discuss anything further, but I think we're, we owe them due diligence. Mr. And Chairman. Mr. Chairman. Just a minute. Uh, all I have said to Senator Flake is that I would advocate for the position he took, but I don't control that. Senator. Mr. Chairman. Yes, Senator, Senator Klobuchar. Mr. Chairman, there are other uh, senators as well um, who may be interested in uh, this negotiation on the Republican side. And there's not really a set agreement here. All of us had already said we were voting no. It is simply Senator Flake. Uh, working with all of us to say for the good of the Senate and the good of the court, the American people deserve to have the facts followed up on. And I really appreciate his willingness um, to do that. And that is what this is about. This Senator. is simply about, and by the way, if Senator McConnell wants to go forward in light of that, and we still have several senators that haven't said how they're voting on this nominee, I actually think this is very important what just happened right now. So Senator, it doesn't have to have an agreement. It is one senator who's standing up. Senator Cornett. Mr. Chairman, I just want to express my appreciation to Senator Flake for allowing this process to move forward. There's some difference of opinion among us as to what exactly the FBI investigation would consist of. Um, some of us think the, it has been concluded and supplemented by this committee's investigation. Others disagree with that. But I respect the fact that uh, not only Senator Flake advocated to give Dr. Ford a chance to appear in front of the committee, um, which was the right thing to do, but also that he's allowed this process to move forward, uh, subject to further discussions about what the FBI may or may not be able to come up with. But uh, certainly he maintains his right to cast his vote, yay or nay, as he sees fit, and maintains uh, significant leverage that way. But uh, I appreciate his, his support for a full and fair hearing for Dr. Ford and Judge Kavanaugh, as well as his willingness to allow this to go forward subject uh, to his, uh, his request. Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman. Senator <coughs> Bumasaw, I think I ought to All call right. on uh, Do, Senator Feinstein. And then if I, through the chair, could ask a question of Senator Flake, does your amendment include continuing the investigation during this period of time? Uh, if I can respond, uh, there is no amendment. Uh, I'm simply stating and uh, the discussion that we had between us.